Hi, everybody. It's Dina Wilkinson with, along with TV Fournier and one of our up and coming regional vice presidents, Kylie Rose from Brisbane, Australia. She's going to be sharing with us a little bit later on in our training tonight. We are so excited to share with you some information about the new bonuses and the new incentives that Arbonne has offered to all the consultants. Um, all over the world, and we're so excited to put cash in your pocket. So we're going to talk about how you can earn these bonuses that are for independent consultants, it's not for district managers or anybody above. It's for independent consultants, whether you've been a consultant for a week, a month, a year, or you're a brand new consultant, you can take advantage of these bonuses. So let's talk about how you can earn the bonuses. So the first thing that you can do is you can earn a 6% override. And how you can achieve a 6% override on your new consultants is to sponsor um, a sponsor consultant who, independent consultant who accumulates 250 personal qualifying volume in their start month. And you get to get 6% override on their um, sales um, for that current month, you also get to get 6% on anyone that you have personally sponsored in, the, um, in that month or in the past month that you have personally sponsored. So all of your personally sponsored consultant sales, you're going to get 6% on their volume that month. So that's how you're going to get a 6% override. You also can get a $50 bonus U.S. Now you're going to make an um, increased volume bonus in um, Canada and Australia when you have sponsored one new consultant who just 250 personal qualifying volume in their start month, and you have 1,500 qualifying volume in um, in that you have in your success line volume, and which 500 must be your own personal qualifying volume. So you have to have 500 yourself and have achieved 1,500 qualifying volume in your success line. And when you do that, you're going to get a 6% override, plus you're going to get a $50 cash bonus. And it increases in Canada and Australia. But let's say if you want a $100 bonus, well, you can achieve that by sponsoring two consultants that do $250 in their start month and having 2,500 qualifying volume in your success line, of which 1,000 must be your own personal qualifying volume. Well, what is this going to do for you? Well, if you do that, first of all, it's going to put you into qualifying for district manager. It's also going to put your new consultant who achieves this into qualification for district manager. So a brand new person that comes into Arbonne who sponsors two New independent consultants who have 250 has 2,500 in success line volume, of which a thousand must be theirs. They can go into qualification for district manager and achieve a hundred dollar bonus plus have six percent override on all of their personally sponsored um, independent consultants' personal volume. So you can put right now money. Um, in bonuses and overrides into your pocket and into your new consultant's pocket. Well, let me show you how you can achieve, let's go back over and show you how you can achieve all of these um, overrides and bonuses. First of all, remember, you need to sponsor one independent consultant who does 250 in their start month. You'll get a 6% override. If you sponsor a new independent consultant, but in, uh, also have 1,500 in qualifying volume, of which 500 must be yours, you're going to achieve a $50 um, bonus, um, more in Canada and Australia. But if you sponsor two who do that and have 250 in personal qualifying volume and have 2,500 in success line volume, of which 1,000 must be um, your own personal qualifying volume, you're going to get the 6% override plus a $100 um, cash bonus. You put money in your pocket 
and your new consultant can achieve the exact same thing. So that is so exciting, it's incredible. This is an incentive that's gonna go from January through June, but if you show Arvon, we're hoping we all do, that we love this incentive, then they'll, they're you know, looking at it to put it as a permanent change to our business plan. So that's so exciting for all of us and for our brand new consultants because they they want to make right now money. Who, who doesn't want to make right now money? So let me show you how you can make uh, $500 a month as an independent consultant with Arbonne. And a, a new consultant can earn $500 a month um, right beginning in their start month. When they come in, as a new consultant, and they sponsor two independent consultants who purchase the anti-aging success pack, and then they, at their presentations, um, or doing one-on-ones, or doing having somebody through a tote, by introducing our um, RE9 anti-aging products, they have eight people purchase a, um, a anti-aging ASVP, um, they're going to achieve over 2,500 in personal qualifying and group volume, and they're going to be able to achieve a $100 bonus plus $351 in preferred client commissions plus a $48.36 in overrides. So that's going to give them just 10 cents less than $500 in commissions and bonuses and overrides. And you can achieve that any month. You can do that uh, formula and achieve $500 as an independent consultant. And it's gonna be more in um, Canada and Australia because your bonus is more. So isn't that exciting? That is incredible. Um, you can show people how they can come in as a brand new consultant and earn $500. Is there anything you want to add to what I've said about the, the bonuses, Phoebe? Well, I think you covered it really well. And um, the thing to remember that all of these incentives are all about you growing your business. So getting that $500 a month is wonderful. It helps a new consultant feel successful or a consultant who's decided to really concentrate now on on her or his business. Um, but the real key to this is that it puts you into momentum. If you help your new consultants, your new independent consultants do the same thing, and they start earning $500 um, or around uh, $500 a month, look what is going to happen to your business and the team that you're building. So you're doing this and then concentrating on helping other people on your team do it is going to take you to higher levels in your business and a much greater income than $500. Yeah, because these bonuses are really, it's helping, if you're a new consultant, it's going to help you get to district. If you're a district, it's going to help you get to area. And if you're an area, it's going to help you get to region. And that's what's incredible. It's because they're all going to help new consultants want to sponsor new consultants. And that's what we want to do. If you want to help encourage people to come in and get sponsoring right away, because that's what's going to build their team. So let's talk about, Phoebe's going to cover about how you can get uh, which called a new incentive called Destination GTC. So, um, maybe share with us how exciting this is. So, the exciting thing about this is that it, it coincides with um, the new opportunities for consultants to earn uh, extra bonuses and commissions. And, uh, you know, GTC is coming really fast. They keep telling us that we are already way over what they were anticipating and that we're probably going to sell out. So you want to make sure you're registered and make sure that new consultants that you um, sponsor are also registered um, as soon as possible. Really focus on that. But look what happens if you sponsor two new cons independent consultants who place a single order 
of 350 personal qualifying volume. Um, <clears throat> and if you sponsor them and they order by February 29th, which we get leap year, so we get a little bit of extra time, one more day. And um, if they do that, then you get your 2016 registration fee. And if you've already registered, that means you're going to be reimbursed and it's going to be put back onto the card that you originally charged your registration fee. And then level two is sponsoring five new independent consultants. And also they need to have the 350 personal qualifying volume by February 29th. And I believe that that um, volume needs to be in their start month. So you wanna make sure that you are getting that order and getting uh, them qualified with that order uh, right from the start. Then you get not only the GTC registration fee, but you're going to get a, a free I want it all set. And you are going to want it all because every year that we've had um, our global training uh, conference, we have had an I want it all set. And I know almost everyone gets one, but you have to buy it, but you are going to get it free. And uh, we don't know exactly what is in it, and we don't know the value, but in the past, it's been a significant amount. And then you get a complimentary purchase with purchase gift, and there are going to be a couple of purchase with purchase uh, gifts that you can get with, or purchase with purchase that you can get with your I want it all and you are going to get one of them free. I'm assuming that you get to choose which one. And the beautiful thing is, is that you will receive um, RV and QV in April um, for these three, uh, for these complimentary products. So for the I want it all and for your purchase, purchase you're gonna be adding volume. And if you're a district manager or above, by then you're going to get an extra um, override on that volume. So you really want to go for that. So um, the next slide, you know, uh, is going to tell you that you must attend in order to, of course, claim it. You know, how are you going to get an I want and all if you're not even there? So you need to be attending. And that purchase with purchase, um, you, um, those are new products um, that are only available with the purchase of the I want it all. So these are going to be high demand. Everybody's going to want it. You're going to want it. And you're going to feel so um, excited and so much like a winner that you get to have both of those free. And you're probably going to have uh, on your name badge, you're going to have part of your ribbon is going to say that you are a destination GTC winner. And then um, you will get the details on what's in them and, and everything that you need to know, but not until you get there. None of us know what it will be. But the exciting thing is, is that you're going to be building your team. When you, especially if you sponsor five new people in January and February, you're going to be on your way to um, district manager if you, you could even qualify during that time. Because if you get them registered, you want to get all of your new consultants registered for only $99 when they have that. 350 personal qualifying volume. And if you take that team with you, you are going to go to the top so much faster. One of the smartest things that I did as a new consultant was to go to my first training conference with um, six consultants with me. And so do you think that played a part in my promoting to regional vice president? Six months later, absolutely. So this is a wonderful opportunity for you. Take advantage of it. Go for it. That's awesome. That's incredible. And the cool thing is, is your new consultant can turn around and sponsor somebody that does 350 and win their, they can win their um, 
their registration fee too, so it is an incredible opportunity. They've never offered anything like this for us before, mm -hmm. so this is an amazing thing. So what we're so excited about is because with everything that Arbon has offered to you, we really truly believe that this can be your best year yet. So we want to share with you some ideas that, that so that you can make sure that this is your best year. Because there's something about it. Because really, truly, to achieve in life, you want to make this year better than last year. That is the absolute key. And how you do that is to create a vision for your life. To create a vision for this year. To create a vision for what you want to have happen. To get really clear on your vision. And people who just get so clear on their vision are the ones that achieve what they want to have happen in their life. Because clarity precedes mastery. Clarity is power. And when you focus on your vision, it's amazing what happens in your life. And what you want to do is once you boil down what you want to happen um, for your life in, your, in this year, and you have a creative vision for yourself, you want to put it on a one-page plan. You want to put it together and you want to boil it down to just a one-page plan. Because when you have it on a one-page plan, it's simple. You want to create simplicity in your life. So you want to have make sure that it is simple and it's somewhere that you can look at it every single week. You want to make sure that you're on target. So the first thing you're going to put on this one-page plan is your magnificent obsession. What is it that you are obsessed about having happened in your life? Now, let's just say that you had a magic wand and that you could wave this magic wand and it's December 31st and everything that you could possibly want to have happened in your life this year had happened. Well, what would that look like? Well, write it down and put it into a paragraph and have that become your magnificent obsession. And by putting it in a one-page plan, you can look at it all the time and see if you're um, focused on it and if you're on target for achieving it. Because what would your best year look like? What would it look like if you were able to achieve it? The next thing you wanted to have on this one-page plan is your top three values. What is it that you value? Today, somebody asked me to do something that was not in, in alignment with my values. And because I am very clear about those values, I was able to say, no, I can't do that. That's not in alignment with my values. So what are your top three values? You want to write them down. Not your neighbors, not somebody else's values. What your three values? So you're going to write down your magnificent obsession. The next thing you're going to write down on your one-page plan is your top three values. Next, you're going to write down your big five. So the big five things that you want to achieve for the year. So by the, at the end of the year, you can say, wow, I really did have a great year. So what would be those five things that you would need to have happen that you could say, wow, you know what? This was my best year yet. So what would those five years, five things need to have happen for you professionally, personally, physically, socially, economically, and spiritually? Write them down. Put them into like five sentences so that they're clear and simple. And then put them on your bathroom mirror. Do you want to lose weight? Do you want to get fit? Do you want to pay off some debt, save some money? serve, go on a, like a mission in your church, what is it that you want to have happen in your life? Put them down. Verbalize them. Declare them. Shout them out. Let people know what it is you want to have happen in your life. Develop a clear sense about what needs to have happen. And then you want to set some quarterly goals. So let's say that you want to become a regional vice president. That was one of the things you wrote down that you really wanted to have that. That was in your magnificent obsession. You are obsessed, you're focused, that's in your vision. You want to have that happen by, by the end of 2016. Well, you want to make sure that 
you've got that broken down into a quarterly goal. So you're going to look at that one-page plan on a weekly basis because looking at that one-page plan, you're going to say, you know what? I need to kind of adjust because I'm not really on target. So you can really adjust if you're not on target to hit those quarterly goals because when we set quarterly goals, we can break them down into weekly goals and then into daily goals. So you want to make sure that you've got that. Now, these are the two habits. You've got your, your one-page plan that you're going to be looking at. You've got that down. The second habit that you're going to create is the holy hour. And I love how Robin Sharma, who's one of the top coaches in the world, his coaching clients include Nike, um, in the top, some of the top professional athletes in the world. And if you look at professional athletes, they have a ritual. There are certain things that they do on a daily basis, and they do the exact same thing every single day. And that's why they're a professional athlete, because they have a ritual that they go through. They don't say, I'm going to work out every now and again. No, there are certain things that they do every single day. Well, Robin... Sharma, Sharma calls it the holy hour. And he makes his, his coaching clients commit to this. And it's getting up an hour early. For some people, that's 5 a.m. Sometimes it's, for some people, it can be 6 a.m. But whatever it is, you need to get up an hour early because you need to plan your day. You need to create your day. It's called intentional creation. You've got to create your day first um, spiritually before you go create it physically. So how are you going to create it spiritually, emotionally, physically? What are you going to do? So the holy hour consists of three different sections. But you've got to start it today. If you don't start this tomorrow morning, you're never going to start it. When are you going to start it? Next week or next month? Start today. Dream big. Start small, but act now. So one of the things that I changed about my life this year is my, um, my feet never touch the ground. My knees touch the ground when I get out of bed first because I pray first. And then one of the, th the things that I do is I read in my scriptures because my spiritual life is very important to me. So you want to start out, first of all, um, with 20 minutes of intense exercise. That's going to clear your mind. It's going to get your body fit and strong. Because you have to remember that the people who um, make it a daily ritual and get up, if you give yourself 60 minutes to prepare for the day, the person that sweats more in training bleeds less in war. So you, you spend the first 20 minutes exercising. You spend the next 20 minutes in learning. Oh, my gosh. The person who reads the most books is the, usually the person that's the most successful in life because they have done the most personal growth. Robin Sharma, when he coaches these billionaires, he goes to their homes and he walks through their house and he finds these libraries. And these libraries are full of these incredible books because these incredibly successful people spend time every day reading and they don't wait till a book goes into paperback. They get it in the hardback because they invest in themselves. What are you investing in yourself right now? Are you making your car a university? Are you spending time in investing in books and uh, online learning? One of the best things I spent for, on myself last year is I did a coaching session with Dave Blanchard, who is the CEO of on Mandino was $250, that that money is going to come back to me a thousand fold because it changed everything in my life. It changed my belief on what I could do, what I could have, and what I could become. And so you need to invest 20 minutes in that holy hour in learning. The next 20 minutes you need to spend journaling. The most successful people that I have ever been around have a hardback little journal. Eric Corey, MJ Durkin, Tony Robbins, and they spend 20 minutes journaling every day. And they write in that journal their gratitude list. They, they plan their day. 
they schedule their day. You know, those who um, fail to plan, they are the ones that fail to, to, to achieve. So I want to um, think of the things I wanted to say, say about that. Let's see if I can hurry and find my notes. Um, let's see. Um, da, 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 da. Going to the edge, right? Next. Oh, yeah. So I, I wanted to, to just think about that because is that you want to go um, by journaling and planning your day, you're going to make it the best year ever, and you're going to be yes. able to shatter your limits and go for it. Because when you start to, to plan your day, journal, and you journal in, in your, spend 20 minutes journaling, you want to look at your day. One of the things you want to do is you can do it if, on Sundays. You can think about planning your whole week and journaling and writing about it. And you're going to have, you're going to start noticing the little blessings in your mouth. You're going to notice the, the little times, the, the little blessings that you're going to get in life. And just to let you know, Kylie, I'm going to talk to you in just a moment. So if you can unmute your, your phone, because I'm going to talk to you in just a minute. But you know, when you start to um, think and plan and journal, you're going to be able to really be successful. But the way, third idea to make your best year ever is to go to the edge of your limits. Because when you go to the edge of your limits, your limits are going to expand. So I wanted Kylie Rose to share with you a little bit about her journey and about her limits. Because if when you go as far as you can see, then you can see further. And so I kind of want um, Kylie to, sh to share that with you because Kylie, a year ago, Kylie's volume was about uh, 3,000. Yep. And in um, December, she just did 18,500. And so um, that sh she jumped from in November, she jumped from 11,000, what was it, 11,100 mm -hmm. yep. to over 18,500. And so I, I want her to share with you because I'd love her just to kind of share um, because she's, she's gotten to the edge of her capabilities as she saw them because I saw much more in her than she probably saw. So I want you to just share with you, with us, a little bit about where you saw yourself a year ago and where you're at now. Okay, thank you, Dina. Um, a year ago, that would have been December, yeah, 2000 and, no, yeah, January 2015. I honestly, um, didn't see myself really ever being successful in Arbonne. I thought that I was the longest district manager running <laughs> and that there, there was no light at the end of the tunnel. And um, in May last year, I made the decision to start working um, wholly and solely with Dina and following Dina's system to an absolute T. Now, um, that was the start of, of my journey um, I think the change in my journey and I also then made the decision to become a professional in my profession what I was doing um, and in that obviously deciding to treat Arbonne as a job so being committed to my day being intentional in my day and um, ticking off lists that was a big one for me organization um, and I also decided to step out of my comfort zone every single day. So if I had put my head on the pillow at the end of the night and hadn't experienced any discomfort in my day, then I know that I hadn't put myself outside of my comfort zone. So in that time, um, I also upped my personal development to up to two hours a day because I was absolutely fed up with where I was. And I came across an audio from Tem MVP Temlin Samuel, which really opened my eyes. And she says that you are at the management level you're personally, personally developed to. And that was a big eye opener for me. And I was like, oh man, that means that really 
if I don't up my ante with my personal development, I'm going to stay at district forever. So that's why I started doing up to two hours a day and just um, really reaching out to Dina. I'm sure I became the biggest pain in the backside to her because I was messaging her all the time. So um, for me, that would really be what changed for me all of those things that I mentioned. Um, and daily affirmations as well are a big one. Oh, that is so awesome. Thank you, Kelly. You know, she did. She went to the edge of her limit. And now at 18,500 is a new normal for her. And that's what happens. That is a new normal. And that is so incredible. And so um, I just want to share that with you is that you can have a new normal. You can stretch yourself. And now Phoebe's going to share with us some other great habits. Phoebe, thank you, Kylie. Yes, Kylie, thanks so much. Can you change the slide, Dina? Uh-huh. Okay, now the third idea to make your, your new year your absolute greatest, the most valuable, the most successful new year yet, the third habit to really have a wow year is your second wind workout. And this has served so many successful people. And so what is a second wind workout? Well, you did 20, a 20 minute workout early in the morning and now you do another 20 minute workout. And the, the first principle behind this habit is that when you transform your fitness, you'll transform your business. So I'm going to say that again, and I think if you click, it might be there, Dina. Okay. When you transform your fitness, you'll transform your business. And that is pretty exciting. Um, so why? Well, when you get super fit, then your mindset will be one of an elite performer. And you will just have so much more confidence and you'll be happier and you'll feel like you're on fire. You'll feel invincible and your focus will clarify and, and you will actually have clearer focus. Your, creative, your creativity will explode and um, you'll, you'll actually gain, as it says, explosive creativity and you're going to look better plus feel stronger. So if you ask someone at the gym, why do you lift weights? They're gonna say because it makes them feel strong. And I have to tell you an, about an example and I wish I could have found, had time to find a picture, a before and after picture, but Linda Loveless, who just promoted her second in, uh, MVP, so now she's an ENVP, and uh, we went on the trip um, to Europe, uh, not this past summer, but the summer before. It was the MVP challenge trip. And um, Linda was really the heaviest I have ever seen her. And she's been in Arbonne now. This is, she just marks her 20th year anniversary. So when we went to Hawaii last January, Linda had transformed herself. She started um, doing our clean eating, and she had lost 30 pounds when I saw her in January. She also told me that she had been doing a special kind of workout that, uh, where she had someone, besides the clean eating and the, our 30 days to, to fit um, program, she was also working out at a gym called Orange Theory, it's kind of one of the fastest growing franchises now in the US. And um, when I saw her again in July, she had lost a total of 50 pounds. And she has just taken years off. She looks fantastic. And, and her whole mindset shifted. And look what happened. She had that confidence, she was happier, she really felt invincible, and she promoted another MVP. So, um, 
<clears throat> you know, this second workout, it could be something easy like going to yoga. And those of you that have a full time job, you know, it may be a challenge for you. But when you get off work, maybe there's a yoga class that you could do. Um, you could go for a swim. I don't know if you've got Arbonne appointments, that might be too much time. Um, you could also just go for a walk. I have a little rebounder and I like jumping on the, the rebounder and it, it's a cellular level of exercise. So that's something you can do in that 20 minutes. That's really valuable. So think about your values while you're, you know, maybe going on that little walk and, and observe nature and just take deep breaths. And that can be really extraordinary. If you live where you have really good weather right now, then that would be something that you could do. Just take a 20 minute walk um, and, and kind of celebrate life as you're doing it. Okay, now the, the fourth and the final habit, and this really is a game changer. It's called weekly scheduling, and it's actually a weekly design system. And you've got to become a master scheduling and I could say time management, but I have to tell you that Bob Proctor, when he um, he quit his his um, job, his work, uh, walked away from making uh, almost two hundred thousand dollars a year, and that was in the nineteen sixties, and went to work for Earl Nightingale so that he could learn from him. And one day he had an opportunity to go to lunch with Earl, and he. He couldn't help but ask him, how, you know, tell me about time management. And Earl said, you cannot manage time. You manage your priorities. And another mentor of mine, Kevin Trudeau, he says, you do not manage time. Oh, excuse me. Kevin said, you manage your priorities. Earl Nightingale said, you manage your activities. So think about that. I love those, both of those, because I can manage my activities, what I'm doing. I can manage my priorities. And that's what you're designing with this weekly design system. So successful people that are playing at their absolute best, no matter what profession it is, if they really want to be world class financially in their businesses and in their lives, and the way they think, then they understand one thing. And that is the things that get scheduled are the things that get done. And they've learned this over and over again. So it's become a program um, or a neural pathway or a habit. And the things that get scheduled since they get done, you've got to set aside some time to actually schedule your week. And so every Sunday morning, you pull out your journal and you pull out your calendar or your scheduler and, and you're going to go through and design your week. You're going to look at last week's schedule and you're going to do a little story. You're going to write a little paragraph in your journal on every single one of those days from the previous week. And, and what does this mean? give you it gives you a sense of your intentionality dina talked about you have to be intentional well when you look at your calendar if something's a priority it's going to be on your calendar and it and your business needs to be there in fact um you know we know that we get on the scales and we see how much we weigh sometimes to judge how we're doing if we're really working on getting fit well we get we pull out and look at our week to see how many activities for our business are we doing. But one of the things that it does, it helps you be aware of what you did right. So as you look at each day, you circle an activity and you write victory by those that you have accomplished. You're gonna celebrate your victories. And then you look and you think, what weaknesses can I improve? Um, how did I spend my days? And you go down the events of each day and you put the victory when they got done and you start to play this game. And when you do this, you're going to get to the point where you don't want to miss getting your victories. 
And you, if you want, you can have something that you do to celebrate those victories. So in your journal, you write a story of what you did right. And it brings a great sense of self-awareness and confidence. And give yourself a weekly rating. On, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate this week, week, this past week? Was it an 8? Was it a 9? And then you do a summary of what the week was like. And this is in your journal. So you can go back and look and you can actually see your growth, um, whether you met your goals. And then on your calendar or scheduler for your next week, you're going to write your top three Arbonne goals your goals for that week. Um, and it's really important to set weekly goals, you know, and even daily goals. And so when you're making that schedule, you pretty are, much are doing that. Um, so you write your top three Arbonne weekly goals, and then every morning when you're doing that 20-minute journaling, that's part of your, your planning process. And you're going to look at these three Arbonne goals and you're going to ask, did I get those three Arbonne goals done or am I getting them done? Did I, have I done any this week? And then um, you're going to set, besides your professional or your Arbonne goals, you're going to set three personal goals. And that might be something like you, how many times you're going to, you do really strong workouts, you know, you do the 20 minute, but maybe you're going to extend it a few times a week because you really do want to get fit. You want that power that comes from being physically strong and, and having that feeling of self mastery. So in the analysis where you rate the week, you say, did I achieve those goals? And then you're going to get a clear picture of what you did right and what you can improve over the coming week. And then the important thing about this whole weekly design um, system is also that you are including it in that journaling, in that 20-minute session that you have. You're taking a look and, and looking at what you have um, on, on schedule. So you want to remember the holy hour exercise, um, 20 minutes of physical exercise, 20 minutes of learning or mental exercise or spiritual exercise and 20 minutes of planning and writing in your journal and reviewing your schedule. And so you look at your upcoming day, and this is in the morning, and you review the schedule so that you're locked in to what is most important. And it's so important to have it written down because, you know, I had some one thing that was at the top of my list for today that I still haven't done. And if I had done that little review, I did the exercise, I did the learning, but I didn't do the journaling. And, and so we don't want to miss that. I know this is going to be a powerful thing for me and it will be for you too. I did it the day before, but I didn't do it this morning. And I see the difference looking at the end of the day. So, um, in business today, in life today, focus is more valuable than even intelligence. So you want to protect your focus. You want to live in a bubble. You literally want to build your days around your goals and build your, your days around your priorities. So um, Peter Drucker said so well. He said, there's nothing so useless as doing efficiently that which should not get done at all. And so you might be doing really well things that don't really even need to be done at all. So, okay, we've taken you through the four habits that will make this new year world class. Make this new year amazing for you. Make this new year a game changer. So just final tips, make a commitment this year, not to be average in your work, but to excel in Arbonne. Make this year the year that you, you reach that Picasso level in your work, um, or you become the Mozart level in your work. You really create that, that life and business that you want. You know, in, 
around you, the bar has been set so low. Most people do average work, but you're going to be the one that knows more about your work in Arbonne than anyone who has ever done this in the history of Arbonne. You know, Rita Davenport, our former president, always used to say, the best consultant has not yet been sponsored. So we can all strive to be the very best. You know, a job is only a job if you see it as a job. And I want you to see Arbonne as a vehicle to be more, to have more, to do more, and to give more. And it's an opportunity really for you to express your creativity, to really bump up against your fears and get stronger. I mean, isn't that what our, our life is, is really about? It's about facing those challenges and getting stronger and stronger. And also, this is a chance for you to really be an instrument of service, to make that difference in other people's life as well as your own. Um, because leadership is ultimately service. In fact, Earl Nightingale, it, he said, and I learned it early in my Arbonne career, that your rewards will be only be equal to your service. And I remember thinking, how can I, and I do it today, every morning, and even in my prayers, how can I increase my service to my team, to uh, the leaders, to my family, to the people around me? How can I be an instrument for good? So do great work. Become iconic in your Arbonne business. Become legendary. You know, why can't you be a Cecilia Stoll? Cecilia Stoll was an exchange student who couldn't even speak very good English when she came. And she joined Arbonne and was so frightened the first time she spoke, she had to um, take a paper bag and breathe into it to, to keep from hyperventilating or just getting ill. And, you know, you can watch her now and see who she has become because that is the beauty of this business. You can be a Donna Johnson. She only had a semester of college and is one of our top income earners, your upline, and does amazing things in the world and in the industry. You can be one of the greats in Arbonne. And so take hold of these four habits and make them yours. You know, one of the goals you always want to set is what new habits do you want to develop now? And if you feel overwhelmed by all four of these, start with one, but give it a try first. Really jump in. What if you did this and what could happen to who you are and to what you're creating in your own life? So I think there's one more slide, Dina. Your life is too important for you to waste. There's four habits. Could you give them 40 days? I mean, you might be amazing and be able to do it, make it a habit in 20 days or 21 days, as they say. But most people, it's going to be 30. Could you give it a month? Could you give it 40 days? Why not? That's not that much when you really think of the whole year and you're gonna create this habit in the next 40 days. So go for it. I'm committing to it. Dean is committed to it. And we're committed to you. We're gonna give you support along the way. So thanks for joining us. Thanks for being a part of our bond and a part of our lives. And we are here for you. Thanks everybody. Make it a great one and make 2016 your best year yet. Thanks yes. for joining us. Thank you all.